Now because appetite gets suppressed, now you actually have to tell people what they should and should not be eating with some accuracy. And the recommendations are the exact opposite. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I'm a doctor of biomedical engineering. Today, I'm going to give you my perspective and the summary of some research on how GLP agonist peptides are showing the whole world that you have been lied to about nutrition. Most of the medical recommendations in the past 20 years, especially when it comes to nutrition, have been very focused on vegetables. We've been told vegetables are healthy for us. There's micronutrients that we need out of vegetables. But for the most part, the most interesting thing about vegetables, I think, is found in the book Toxic Superfoods by Dr. Sally Norton. This is where she goes over how much of what is in vegetables is not good for you at all. And it is driving chronic inflammation and that's ultimately going to be a source of a lot of disease. Cancer primarily, but there's a lot of different factors there. And I'm not saying vegetables cause cancer. I'm saying there's not a chance they help based on the inflammation that they provide. And that seems to be what keeps cancer cells growing and keeps the body from being able to fight off the cancer growth is just chronic inflammation. So, but all that's been ignored. Because the, the advice has been, oh, you, you, know, you might want to eat meat once a week or once a month or something like that. The standard recommendation for protein int intake is ludicrously low. Also, we've been told by medical authorities and even the Biden White House that there's no such thing as unhealthy food. Like that's actually something someone said. That's so, it's almost criminal. That, that's such, such bad advice. But... I'm a health evangelist. I care about my own health. I care about everybody's health. Uh, my business is all set up to help people be as healthy as possible. So I, I, I think um, it was just general frustration for, from my world. But then the GLP agonists came along and it was very apparent for those who were prescribed these things or bought them off of a research website more likely. Now, that people are on these appetite suppression peptides. Now they're told, oh, you need to focus on protein. Otherwise, you're, you're really going to fall apart. And you want to lower your amount of fiber because if your digestion slows down. That fiber can cause blockages. I'm looking at these recommendations and I'm thinking, wow, y'all just lied to us for like 30 years. And now... Now because appetite gets suppressed, now you actually have to tell people what they should and should not be eating with some accuracy. And the recommendations are the exact opposite. Now, I'm a huge fan of GLP peptides. Yes, they're getting a lot of criticism, but the criticism that they're getting is mostly false. And let me tell you why. Uh, like blindness, for example, has been associated with the GLP agonists. But the blindness actually comes from type 2 diabetes. So when you give a diabetic a peptide that helps diabetics, and then some diabetic shit happens to them, why would you blame the peptide? In fact, if somebody has been on this for long enough and eats responsibly, because ultimately what they're eating is what's gonna cause either blindness or completely healing from the glucose reception and insulin reception dysfunction that is seen with type two diabetes. If you change your diet, that doesn't happen. So now these healthcare professionals, they can't hide anymore. The entire concept of the GLPs have just shined the light on the fact that we've been given terrible recommendations. You should clearly be low carbohydrate. You should clearly have a high level of protein so that you can replicate 
replicate cells. I, I'm not even just talking about building muscle. If somebody is watching this and, you know, let's say you have a, a spouse that, or girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, that doesn't care for exercise, which is terrible because that's basically the best metabolic thing you could ever do. Uh, let's say somebody doesn't like it. Well, eating healthy will still get you in a much better place with your health. So focusing on protein, lowering fiber, which does nothing for you. Everything you've been told about fiber is just an absolute lie. I'll put up some research about that. The GLPs showed us that you were lied to. That's the takeaway. Please leave comments. If you wanna argue with me, I encourage it. Thanks and see you on the next one. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.